someone asked Mother Teresa, Mother, what must I do to be happy in this life? And Mother responded to him by saying, you already have what you need. That's a perfect phrase for JR because I think these are the words that Jesus wants JR to always remember. What you need, you already have to be happy. You see, you being here, JR, is no accident. It was God who led you here little by little. Priesthood, religious life, they only come about through invitation. Jesus invites us to that kind of life. It's not something we choose because you'd have to be crazy to do that. It's not normal. It's God who invites. It's God who invited Moses, Abraham. It was God who invited all the prophets. It was Jesus who invited his disciples. God invited Mary to participate in salvation. It's God who invites. So God is the first point of reference in who you are and what you do as a religious. I was stuck in my own personal life. There was one thing that was blocking me from making final vows, but I couldn't put a finger on it. And one night I was praying in front of the Blessed Sacrament and God showed me what it was. And I remember looking at Jesus in the tabernacle and he says, you know why I'm not making final vows yet? Because I don't trust you. I don't trust you to make me happy for the rest of my life. But as soon as I said it, I heard how ridiculous that was. Never in the Gospels does Jesus invite and then pull the rug from someone. That's just cruel. That's a real bad joke. So if God invites, God will keep God's promises. So JR, tonight you stand in here is no accident. It's God who has invited you. God has asked you, just like he did Mary. God has asked you, just like he did his disciples, to come follow him. God has asked you, just as he did Venerable Aunt Terry, be my disciple, be my friend, be my witness in the world, that God is present in this world and that there is a life to come for all of us. JR, remember, what you need, you already have to be happy. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you created me in your plan of love. In baptism, you consecrated me to yourself, and you placed within me the seeds of your plan for me. Now in the presence of all the saints of heaven, of Father Lanteri, of all the oblates of the Virgin Mary, and of the people of God, I, Engelberto Hernandez San Juan Jr., into your hands, Father James Walter, provincial rector, vow for all my life, chastity, poverty, and obedience, in the manner willed by the Holy Church, according to the constitutions of the Oblates of the Virgin Mary. Mary, I place myself in your hands, so that you may bring me to God. Brothers, I ask for your help in order to persevere with fidelity all the days of my life, until the Father gathers me into his arms. My God, now fulfill in me all of your will. Amen.